right, we are now joined by the driver of the number 19 Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota, Martin Truex Jr. We'll go ahead and roll right into questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get you a wireless microphone. We'll start up front with Bob, then we'll go over here. Uh, Bob Pockers, Fox Sports. Um, I have two. Have you taken a look at that inside wall yet in turn 11? Yeah. And how do you think that could impact things this weekend? Yeah, it's definitely different. You know, we're used to having the tires down there, which, you know, you can kind of, at some point in the race, the tires always kind of keep getting moved back a little bit, and then you can use more of that paint uh, in turn 11, and it, it definitely helps you get through there. So it's going to be just um, a little bit trickier, and then obviously, you know, we've seen uh, contact in that corner many times before, so uh, there's not really anywhere to escape now if you have, uh, you know, a guy kind of squeezes you getting in there. So uh, could cause some problems. We'll see. And um, obviously there's a lot of drivers right now looking for rides. I'm curious, has Gibbs been putting, is Gibbs asking you for a decision sooner than later, and are you any closer or have one? Every week, Bob. Clo I'm closer every week. How's that? Every week I get closer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we'll go up front here. Aaron Wilson with uh, Crown Force Sports in San Francisco. One of the biggest headlines around this weekend, obviously, is you getting a win, but this is a repaved track that you've had some success on, but it's not been this terrain, I guess, this surface. Mm -hmm. So how does that affect you out there or would affect you out there on Sunday, if at all? Yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot different than it's been. You know, I think, um, you know, every time for as long as I can remember, you come to Sonoma and you think, you know, worn out track, tire wear, the approach is a lot different than what it is now. Now it's really going to be, you know, um, pretty much run qualifying laps every lap with, with the tires that don't wear out or don't really fall off much. So totally different approach, I think, than, um, than what we've done here at home, at, you know, at Sonoma in the past. Um, but with that being said, I, you know, we tested out here. I felt good about it and um, it's still the same course. So new challenges, same course, and hopefully we can, uh, you know, we can figure out and, and go back uh, win number five here. We'll go to the back and then we'll come over to Jeff. Hey, Martin, Adam Carabine, RacingRefresh.com. Uh, just to also kind of follow up on that, uh, the repave here at Sonoma, uh, I heard Christopher Bell yesterday saying that uh, maybe what set you apart here was that your experience in saving tires on the old service, which was very abrasive. Were you upset to find out they were repaving? And, you know, how does that affect your strategy this weekend? Yeah, for sure. I, I wish they didn't. You know, we had something really good here working. And, um, you know, certainly last year we... Uh, you know, we did really well with it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think we've, you know, we won on both configurations of track here. Um, you know, I've won in some different race cars here over the years, different models of cars and different generations of cars. So really it's just always been about adapting. And, um, you know, like I said, we tested out here and I thought it went really well. Um, but I think this is gonna be, this could be the hardest one to win of all of them, just because of, you know, it's gonna come down to track position and, you know, being on the right strategy, having good pit stops. Um, you know, we could see a guy gamble on when to when to pit and catch a caution and and win the race kind of come from nowhere. So I just think there's going to be more there's more of a chance of an upset or a guy surprising the field, I think, um, this time around. Whereas, you know, before, if your car was really good, you could drive through the field, you know, as simple as that. Um, you could, you know, pass cars. Uh, on old tires, and that's going to be a challenge this time around, I feel like. Go ahead, Jeff. Do you think that, like, because Coda ran with, without natural cautions, uh, it was just the stage breaks, and the way that this car drives, it's probably not, probably not going to see a lot of mistakes. So are the top teams just going into it like, all right, we just have to assume there's not going to be many yellows, and if one happens, oh well? Or, like, do you have to plan for that contingency I think you just you always try to plan for every possible thing that could happen you know you're like okay if you know if there's no cautions here's our game plan and then if there is you have to you know you have to change you have to adapt and you you have to try to make the right decision in those moments so I think everybody will have kind of a, a play sheet so to speak on what they think is going to be right and um, you know you just wait and see how it plays out you know you never know a lot could happen here it's a narrow track certainly narrower than Coda, um, and, and 
you know, potential for guys getting in, into each other is there. So we'll just see how it plays out. We'll stay up front for a couple questions and then we'll head to the back. So we'll start here. Hey, Martin, I, kn I know you uh, tested here, but after you tested is when the photos appeared of the track coming up in a couple places. What did you think when you saw those photos? And are you, do you feel like it's all been addressed? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I was, you know, interested in seeing them. Obviously, I was surprised. Um, the track was in really good shape when we were here. Now watching on TV just now, Xfinity practice, I see a lot of like patchwork and a lot of things that look totally different than it did when we were here. So I think it's going to be different, no, no question. Um, yeah, I don't know what they used. Anytime you mess with the surface, you mess with the grip level and, and all those corners, it changes things a lot. So we just got to get out there and, you know, fortunately we have a little bit of practice and we'll get a feel for that. And, um, you know, we have the opportunity to make some changes on the car, which we don't normally. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can figure it out better than everybody else. That's really all that matters. It's the track's the track. It's going to be the same for all of us. We'll go to the back first and then we'll come up front. Tom Zaleski on County today. Martin, the um, the way the surface is right now, does coming in from turn seven into turn eleven with the lack of a tire with the lack of a tire wall does that uh, add to the ch add to the challenge a little more or how with the additional speed how you how you approaching that approaching this spot how hard will it be? Uh, I think it's it's going to be a little different. Obviously, a uh, different visual for sure. Having that tire, you know, not having just tires there. Uh, and having a wall but um yeah i mean there was always there was always a little bit of wiggle room when you could move around there and turn 11 and find some grip especially on the curb um and now it's there's less room there so i mean i think you know it just just depends on what the track's like if it's really slip, slippery down there sometimes the you know the curb gains grip as it gets rubber down uh put down on it and things like that so you just have to see you know how it works this time around. It's just definitely uh, going to be a little harder to hit your marks down there, I feel like. Come up front. Uh, Curtis Michelle, Cabe Area News Group. Martin, there's been some chatter about you obviously having an opportunity to, to tie Jeff Gordon for the most wins here at Sonoma. First of all, does that still kind of blow your mind a little bit? And I wonder, what do you remember about your first race? In, I think it was in 2006 here in Sonoma. Jeff won that race. What do you remember about your first road course here i guess uh i you know my first race here i just remember uh you making a big mistake qualifying um i think i went from second or third to second in qualifying instead of third to fourth coming out of turn 11 and um i believe if i remember right we had to change engines for the race so we started in the back and had a really fast car and passed a lot of cars and had a lot of fun and that's just the first time here I fell in love with this place and um, have have always loved it ever since so definitely remember that day but uh, you yeah, know it was it was a ton of fun we passed a lot of cars and we had a good day uh, overall what do you remember about the way Jeff ran this course here do you do you pick up certain things from a guy like him the way he the success he's had here and and obviously getting what, what would it mean to get to five wins here at Sonoma yeah, I mean, a lot of the races I watched him here was long before I raced here. So, um, yeah, he was definitely uh, the master around here for a long, long time, and it was cool to get to race with him here. Um, we got into a little bit of a, an issue one year, him and I. <laughs> I think it was uh, in 2010 or so. We had a really good day going and had a, had trouble in the pits and had a start in the back or something like that. I don't remember what happened, but... Um, it was him and Montoya got together behind me going into turn 11, and I was the only one that got spun out. I was kind of upset about that. Um, you know, but aside from that, I've enjoyed racing him over the years, and he was, un he was unbelievable here, especially back in the day. Any additional questions? That will come up in the middle. Hi, Martin. Kyle Foster, Napa Sports News. Um, you were here during the tire test. Um, that said, you got plenty of laps on the track. What is your kind of initial goal compared to the rest of the field when you get out there here pretty soon? Uh, probably not much different than everyone else. Just, um, you know, go out there, get a feel for the track. It's a lot hotter than it was then. Um, you know, I'm not even sure, you know, honestly what tires they, uh, they landed on. So, um, you know, I know my guys have, have worked hard to prepare and they do a great job you know coming here especially and uh 
just looking forward to getting in the car, getting warmed up, and uh, you know, trying to find some speed. Um, that's really what it's all about. Get ready for qualifying tomorrow. So excited for that, and uh, see what we can do. Go over to Alan. Uh, just a quick one, Alan Kavana, PRN. Does the extra speed or faster speed change braking at all? In terms uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, your marks are going to be a little different, obviously. And I think the biggest thing is just that, you know, this, the, the tire fall off's not there. And, and I think the track's going to continue to get faster the more we run on it. You know, so um, it's going to be different tomorrow. It's going to be different on Sunday. It's going to continue to change. And, and we're going to need, need to, you know, figure out what direction to go and what direction the track's going to go. and hopefully be able to keep our car good all weekend.